In this day and age, most of us, whether for business or personal use, use some type of cloud service. And while cloud storage provides many advantages, it also has its drawbacks, such as slower access to your stored data, added storage costs, and bandwidth usage. QNAP's hybrid mount provides you with a cloud storage gateway to streamline how both you and your colleagues view, access, and work with your data. The way this works is that data from your cloud is cached on the QNAP NAS, giving users local access to data from the cloud. This can save money by reducing the frequency of uploads and downloads by multiple users, as the data from the cloud will technically only be downloaded by one NAS and then dispersed to multiple users from there. You'll also be able to access cache data locally for faster speeds and reduce your bandwidth usage since users will be connecting to cache data over the LAN network rather than the internet. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to mount a cloud service on your QNAP NAS using Hybrid Mount. Start by installing the Hybrid Mount app from the App Center and then open it. Now in the upper right hand corner, click the Create Remote Mount button. This will bring up a window with the option to select between Create File Cloud Gateway and Create File Station Mount. The Create File Cloud Gateway option will create a cache on your NAS for the cloud service, whereas the Create File Station Mount option will only mount your cloud storage on your NAS, but the data itself will still be accessed remotely on the cloud services servers. Keep in mind that Creating a file cloud gateway requires a license. Your QNAP NAS includes two licenses. If you need to create more file cloud gateways, you can purchase additional licenses through a link found in the licenses section. To create a cache for the cloud on your NAS, click the Create File Cloud Gateway button. On the first page of the wizard, you can click the drop down menu to select between 20 plus available cloud services. Also, Keep in mind that Hybrid Mount is compatible with all cloud services that use the S3 API. In my case, I will be selecting Dropbox to mount. When you make your selection, you will need to authenticate your cloud account. On the next page, you will select which storage pool to use. When you create a Hybrid Mount, you will basically be creating a volume on the NAS to use for mounting your cloud service. In this page, is also where you will determine how much storage space you want to allocate for this particular cloud mount. I'm just mounting a very small capacity cloud, so I will just allocate 20 gigabytes, which is the minimum capacity allowed for this feature. Once you have made your selections, click Create. Now in the overview section, you will see that one cloud service is mounted. If you enter the Mount Management tab, you can view your mount cloud services, and by each cloud service, there's an on-off toggle you can use to easily disable the mount or remount the cloud service. This section also shows the status of the mount, the used cache space, the total cache space, and an options drop-down menu. If you go to the transfer resource management section, you can set specific file transfer settings to best suit your specific use case, including priority transfer conditions, where you can prioritize uploads and downloads based on file size and file type. Under the log section, you can view both mount logs and speed test logs. Under the licenses section, you can view your total licenses, as well as purchase additional licenses via the purchase license link. And under the Permissions section, you can adjust who has access to Hybrid Mount. When you have a cloud storage mounted via Hybrid Mount, you'll also be able to see that storage in FileStation. And if you view your files in FileStation, you'll be able to view your cache status. You can click the information icon to view a key of what all the status icons mean. Hybrid Mount enables you to create a hybrid cloud solution to facilitate an efficient, cost-effective storage space for you and your whole team. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.